Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I recreated this hollow makeup look that I posted to my Instagram last week for part of my 100 days of makeup challenge. Some of you guys really liked it so I decided to do it in a video. So if you're interested in how I did this and also my thoughts on some of the Sigma lip switch glosses which I'm absolutely obsessed with then please keep on watching. Alright so for today I'm first going in with my Nivea Rich Moisturizer day cream I previously bought the night version of this and I absolutely love it it's so good for dry skin so I'm not really using a primer today because my skin has just been so dry lately from doing all this makeup for the 100 days of makeup challenge so I really just want something that's gonna keep my skin from cracking under all these layers of makeup that I'm about to put on. Okay so next up I'm going in with my foundation and I've been using two lately because this one I really like the formula of. It's the Maybelline Matte and Paula's. I've been using this one for a while. They came out with some paler shades so that's why I've especially been into this lately but it's still too dark so I've been mixing in the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Now this is a bit too sheer on its own so that's why I like to mix it in with this one so you get the best of both of them. So first I just like to take the Matte and Paula's and dot this all over my face and then I take my NYX foundation. I really like it because it has a pipette. Oh. It makes me feel like I'm one of them Instagram beauty gurus like Mm -hmm. Oh, I just dropped it on my leg a lot. And then I'm just blending that in with my beauty blender, mixing those two foundations together. And also, if you're wondering, in the NYX foundation, I'm the lightest colour, which is suitably called pale. <laughs> and I'm making sure to bring this down my neck to blend in with that um, Maybelline foundation that I put on there as well. And I'm making sure to get my little pimples in my hairline because with all this makeup from doing the 100 days of makeup challenge it has been making me get quite a few more spots especially in my hairline where the makeup tends to get trapped. And then I'm taking my collection Last Imperfection Concealer just under the eyes. This looks a bit dark when you first put it on over this lighter foundation but once it's blended out it just looks as normal. And I'm also going over any pimples. And again, just blending it in with the beauty blender. Alright, and now I'm taking a little bit of my RCMA no colour powder. The only thing I hate about this is it's so messy, it just gets everywhere. I had to order an empty powder container like last night because it's just getting ridiculous every time I use this powder. I love the formula so much but it just gets everywhere so I'm gonna try and transport it into a new container and see how that goes. So I'm actually gonna do something a bit unusual for me and I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face first rather than moving on to the eyes because we want to save those to last because the lip gloss gets everywhere. But for now I'm going in with Fawn I believe it is. Yes, Fawn by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And just doing a bit of contouring. I want to make this quite strong today because you can get washed out by um, the black eyeshadow and things. With someone, you are With someone, Don't want to go too harsh on the contouring though when you're this pale because it can make you look a bit dead. So you really want to go in with some bronzer to bring the life back into your face. This is Havana by Anastasia Beverly Hills, again from the light contour kit. And you can see it's quite a dark colour, so I just take a very little amount onto the cheeks and the perimeters of the face. I also like to do a tiny bit just on the forehead where the sun would naturally hit. So I've got my nice peachy blush which is Luminoso by Milani and I'm just putting a little bit of this on the cheeks, slightly more than I would usually because again I don't want the foundation to wash me out again with the dark heavy eyes. So for the eyes I'm starting off with MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to prime. And I'm going to set that primer in place using Beans Are White from the Zoeva Coco Blend Palette. I've been really loving using this shade because it's pretty much an exact skin tone match for me. 
So for the base of today's look, I'm going to keep it real simple, just stick to two eyeshadow colours, which are these two right here. Here we have Bedrock by Makeup Geek and Noir by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm starting off with Bedrock by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to roughly place this in the crease, just in a dome shape, you know, I'm not doing anything too fancy today. And I'm using this on my good old MAC 224 brush. And then I'm taking Noir by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is just pure black. And I'm going to try and create a gradient between this grey and my lid. I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in the colour Black Bean. It's just a great base for black smoky eyes because it really helps the black to stick rather than just blending out to nothing. So I'm just roughly applying this directly onto the lid, not going past the crease. And then I'm going to just use my finger to blend that out. So now is the black eyeshadow on the lid, so you want to take some tissue, just fold it over and hold this as close to your lash line as you can possibly get it, because you really don't want any black shadow to go underneath. So I'm then taking a flat synthetic brush packed with black eyeshadow and I'm just going to press this on the lid, not swiping it, we don't want to move that cream underneath it. Taking that tissue again, but only a little bit of black on my fluffy brush just to help blend this into the crease. Then I'm going in with my grey again on the lower lash line this time. And I'm going to line my waterline with my NYX Jumbo Pencil. And again, I'm setting that in place with black shadow so that it doesn't budge. And also just a bit on the lower lash line as well. And then I'm trying now a new mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I know a lot of people seem to love this online, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And I'm then going in with my Huda Beauty liner lashes. So the reason why these lashes are good for this look is because they're long and dramatic, but they don't have a curl to them very much. So that'll really prevent them from getting all sticky in the lip gloss and you really don't want that because it's going to just ruin your lashes. And for the brows, I like to go in with my Sleep Gel Brow Kit in the colour Dark. So I'm moving on to highlighter and the first time I did this look I used a different highlighter but I actually recently purchased this and I haven't used it yet. So to go with the iridescent theme I thought I'd use the NYX new duochrome highlighters. It's not too pigmented with my first layer but I always like to layer my highlights up anyway so I'm just going to build this onto the cheekbone. A nice pink tint to it and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my pinky finger just to get some on the tip of the nose just adding a little bit with the pinky into the inner corner so now moving on to the lip I've used this in a previous tutorial it's the LS blush black liquid lipstick in the color venom this smells so bad, but it is really opaque and I do like the formula of it. So now on to the best part, which is of course the holographic, holographic lip glosses. I think they're more iridescent. They only shift between a few colours, they don't reflect the whole rainbow. So I'm going to be using all of these colours just because I'm extra. And 
they're all so pretty and I want to put them all over my face. So I'm going to start off with Transcend which is sort of a bluish white and you'll really see that they pop over the top of the black. And then I'm going to take Double Whammy which is a purple that reflects green, yellow, blue and mixing this in slightly with the blue because then you'll see it reflects green. Now I'm going in with Flip Flop which is an orange and then finally I'm going in with Pink Lotus which is obviously a pink. So again, transcend first. I'm also just applying a few random dots of this because when it mixes with the other colours it creates really pretty. Then taking double whammy. Then going in with pink lotus. And then finally I'm going in with flip flop. As you can see, when you apply a lot, like I did, it does tend to drip off. So I would recommend just doing this for photos. It also gets all over your teeth. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and you'll see more videos like this one. That is all from me this week. If you have any makeup looks you'd like to see or videos, I can do anything pretty much. I have so much free time now or oh, any makeup looks you'd like to see in my 100 days makeup challenge over on instagram just let me know and also i'll link all my social medias in the description box if you're interested in that so hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye oh no it's on my leg i'll just take the bit off my leg and put it back on my face <laughs> oh and my pimples every time the last because of the lip gloss I dropped another brush I got lip gloss in my eye and it's made my eyelash come off and it's gone all over my eyelash that is so disgusting <laughs> ew Shrek lips is the new fashion